Okay, let's think back um, to whenever we first started working with fractions and we had a little sort of an example uh, where we were talking about studying and you know dividing up pizza amongst uh, my friends and I that were studying for our math test. Well, we talked about numbers like 8 sixteenths and 4 eighths and 2 fourths and 1 half and we saw that they were all actually the exact same visual representation of the pizza. Well, let's remember how we did that. If we had 8 over 16, there was a way to write this in lowest terms so that we could see it was actually one half of the pizza. Well, remember, in order to do that, we have to take um, and divide the numerator and the denominator by the exact same amount. So in this case, they have an 8 in common. So if we were to divide top and bottom by 8, 8 divided by 8 is 1, and 16 divided by 8 is 2. So we saw that that was 1 half. And we could have done that with any of those problems. For instance, the 4 eighths. 4 and 8 have a 4 in common, so we could have divided top and bottom by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. So even though these fractions looked different, they represented the exact same amount of that pizza visually. Okay, well now if we can go forwards, we should be able to go backwards. So what if we were presented with half of uh, the number one half, half of a pizza, and I wanted to change it into eight sixteenths. Well, whenever I went from eight sixteenths to one half, we divided by eight. So if I'm going to go the opposite direction, I need to do the opposite of dividing by eight, which would actually be to multiply by eight. So if I were to multiply 1 times 8, that would be 8, and if I were to multiply 2 times 8, that would be 16. So we could multiply top and bottom by the same number, and that does the opposite as dividing top and bottom by the same number. Well, if we want to use this same exact idea, and I want to say, okay, now I want to represent that same 1 half but this time, instead of 16 size pieces, or you know, 16 slices, I want to cut the pizza into 24. How many out of 24 would represent the same amount as 1 half? Well, if we look at this, we could say, okay, what do we multiply by 2 to get 24? That would be 12. We have to do the exact same thing to the top to keep everything balanced. So 1 times 12 would be 12. Now would 12 pieces out of 24 represent half of that pizza? Absolutely it would. We can, do, we can multiply anything we want to, to a fraction, as long as we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the exact same thing. Now why do you think it has to be exact? Going back to that 1 half, when we multiply top and bottom by 12 to change that into 12 over 24, think about what 12 over 12 is. What is 12 divided by 12? Well, that's a 1. Earlier we multiplied by 8 on top and 8 on bottom. What is 8 divided by 8? 1. So when we multiply top and bottom by the exact same thing, what we're really doing is multiplying by 1. And if you'll remember from earlier, 1 is called the multiplicative identity, or the identity under multiplication. It's what you multiply to something and it doesn't really change it. Right now, we've just kind of put different clothes on one half. So it looks a little bit different, but it has the same exact meaning. We have done what's called creating equivalent fractions.